I tested the new Pika 2.1 versus Kling, Runway, and Sora, so you don't have to pay $10 per month to see yourself. I used the same three images and prompts. I put them into all the platforms and we ranked them based on which one I like the best. So by the end of this video, you'll find out if Pika beats my favorite video generators. First, let's look at the trailer. So as you can see, this was 100% generated by their community. They saying it's here and you can already see that it's quite good. And comparing it to its previous version, the Pika 1.5 or 2, it is hitting new strides. Specifically, what they focused on in this update is faces. And you can see that it actually is very sharp. And uh, there are some limits that you might see here as well. A little bit of that bloom that we get in many video generation. This shot is incredible. Uh, these waves and water is obviously hard for video generators. And uh, yeah, you see some of the bloom there, some obvious AI generation uh, things happening. But overall, I have to say that I'm pretty impressed. But <laughs> this is obviously just a trailer. So I can't wait to test them and compare them with my favorite AI video generators. That is what I'm gonna do right now. As you can see, I've uploaded this image of a gangster panda, this humanoid woman walking on a balcony, and this follow shot of a bird flying through a village. I put it into Pika, I put it into Kling, I put it into Runway, and I put it into Sora so we can get an overview still of which one is the best. I have a tier list here where the last time I ranked Kling in the top, Runway, Halu, and Sora here on the A tier, and I really wanna know where does Pika fall in this tier list. So first, let's take a look at Pika's generations straight off the bat. So here is the generation from Pika where it is a wide camera shot zooming out panda counting money with his hands. And there are some obvious issues here where the money is morphing and flapping around on the table, as well as at the end, the mouth opens up really wide. So you see that there's a lot of morphing uh, going on. So that's the first generation here. You can see a parallax shot of a humanoid robot woman walking on the balcony. Here, it's actually not that bad. A common mistake would be that the legs actually morph into each other and kind of warp into each other. You can also see that the movement of the girl here is quite nice with the shoulders and the bumping up and down with the head. There maybe should have been a little bit more movement with the shoulders and arms here to get, <laughs> it almost looks like a Bambi type of uh, <laughs> walking here, but nonetheless, pretty good actually. And I can't wait to see how it's gonna compare with the other video generators. Now, this last shot is very hard. And I don't think that any of the models are going to be able to do this, but let's take a look. So this is a top-down follow camera shot of the back of a bird flying over a village. So the wings are actually flapping and you can see that the bird are, isn't really morphing that much. It's obviously a little bit weird and it is kind of in slow motion, like it doesn't have real physics. But even still, I have to say that I love the ending shot where you can actually see the horizon here. Yeah, I actually quite like it. I have to say uh, straight off the bat, the bird shot and the humanoid woman walking shot is quite nice, but the panda one, not so great. But let's compare it with our second follow-up here, Sora. AI. So this is obviously the model from ChatGPT themselves. I put the exact same images and prompts into them. We generated two variations. So let's take a look at shot number one. So I struggle with coming up with great content ideas daily. So I tested this social content AI that can generate ideas for you. Let's click on find ideas. Here I can enter my website or a brief description. AI content creation, find ideas. And you can see that it actually scraped the top news by category of AI 
and all of these articles are scraped from today. I can already see some great ideas here and it did that for content, creativity, and even digital media. So you can stay up to date what is happening today. But also it's going to invent new ideas with AI. And just by looking at this screen, I get good ideas like real world examples of AI and human collaboration. I wanna dig deeper, so I'm gonna click on generate. Now we can select the target social media. I'm gonna select all of them. Elaborating on the idea, and this is copy paste from before, we can specify the tone of voice. So for me, I want it to be humorous, if that's possible. Specify post type. I'm thinking more a story. Click on generate. You can see the post and it actually has some humor in it, but also don't bother looking for visuals. You can generate matching designs, images, and text with AI on the spot. So let's click on add image, make it a square for the AI and human image. I kind of want a digital art. Let's try pixel style. We got four images back and they actually look really cool. We can also rephrase, change the tone of voice or even the post type. When I'm happy with it, I'm just going to click on send to poster and we can schedule them out on any platform. So if you need help to create valuable content ideas, click the description down below to go to social content AI by SEMrush. Thank you so much to SEMrush for sponsoring this section of the video. Our second follow up here, Sora. AI. So this is obviously the model from ChatGPT themselves. I put the exact same images and prompts into them. We generated two variations. So let's take a look at shot number one. So here we go. It is zooming out behind the frame. Obviously, we get some crazy. Um, oh, and then we get the second generation at the end. What happened there? You just, hey, let's have my twin. He has even more money. But yeah, that's one of the issues I found last time with Sora as well. It is quite hard to make it do the thing in the prompts. And here we have the second generation. <laughs> just rotating the camera around the room. Wow, it's actually a pretty nice room, but obviously counting money with his hands is kind of <laughs> what we're looking for. It looks like he just got caught and he's like, stand still. He's not going to see me if I just stand still. <laughs> All right. Um, what do you guys think about this? Um, I don't, I mean, it's not useless. Um, some of these are like cool type of music video type shots, um, but the coherence of the prompt is not great. Let's take a look at the humanoid robot walking here, walking to the balcony uh, off to the side. And now we're in a new shot. The walking here as well is quite sterile, uh, if I had to say so myself. Uh, that was the first generation. Here is a second one where we get quite crazy camera movement. She's walking backwards and then forwards. And um, yeah, I'm not sure. It's not great. This is not what I was looking for. A parallax shot, obviously moving around and revealing the city a little bit more is what I was thinking about. Yeah, I'm not sure we need more prompting or something to make that happen. Now over to the bird shot, we have just basically floating in the air. Nothing really happening here, um, but uh, quite cool bird generation. I guess if it was a green screen in the background, we could change it somehow. So that might be interesting, but let's take a look at the last generation here. Okay, it's following the bird, but nothing is happening in the background. I have to give credit to the actual physics or the feathers and the movement of the bird it looks actually really realistic. So if we could crop out the bird or something, that would be quite a nice shot. So how did Sora compare? Um, to use any of these shots straight out of the box, I think would be quite hard. Even this little walking face here from Sora wasn't that great. Uh, even on the right one, it isn't really that great. Here, I think I like this for crazy generations, but yeah, Sora still has its placement in A or even B tier, I'm not even sure. It's really in like the weird middle ground, but let's take a look at the next one, Runway ML. So we got them all here as well. And one important thing to note is that we have the alpha generation and we have the alpha turbo. This is a little bit faster and I generated all of them with a the gen three alpha, except I actually did one with the turbo. So let's take a look at that one first. So this is the cheaper generation here from runway. And yeah, I actually quite like this character. 
and it's actually keeping everything in the place that it should be. Nothing is really morphing around or anything. Everything stays where it should be. The character's face is quite nice. But let's take a look at the actual alpha version of this, which is a higher quality version. This is the shot and you can see them moving around with the hands and actually eating. <laughs> they only trained it on pandas eating footage. <laughs> So yeah, the money warping quite a bit in the hands here and flapping around quite a bit in the end. Um, overall, not so much zooming out as well. There is a slight zoom out, but here we have runway to the left and Pika to the right. And I do have to say that the Pika generation is a little bit more lively, a little bit more character. It seems like things are going on, but the quality is quite a lot better of the hands and the paper and stuff on runway. So it depends what kind of style you want to go for. But what about runways humanoid robot? Here you can see the walking is quite good and we get the leg problem. So you can see that they're kind of switching from one leg to another, but the overall walking um, stand, no, this ain't good. There's a lot of morphing and switching going on and uh, yeah, it's uh, not so great with the character. The camera movement is actually perfect, generating the city in the background, but yeah, this is not great. Lastly, we have the top down follow shot of the bird where it is <laughs> just not, uh, what How did this happen? It, seems like it's almost made it into a picture and then it's morphing it like trying to transform um yeah that's not really that realistic and useful also i think the <laughs> river turned into a road did you see that now it's a river and all of a sudden it's <laughs> a road <laughs> I mean, that's really hard for it, I guess. But it's really good at getting the sun in there and that flare on the camera. Yeah, I gotta put that in there. So here you have Runway on the left and Pika on the right. Again, a lot more lively, a lot more character. And it's actually trying to do the thing that I wanted to do. So I would say that I would choose Pika in this case, for sure. That also goes when we compare it to Sora. It obviously beats that, but there is still one left. But before that, go to YouTube and search for AI and the podcast. You can discover new AI tools quicker. We only just started, but it's the most fun day of the week. So I think you're gonna love it. Just search for AI and the podcast on YouTube or click the link in the description. And now let's go to Kling AI. So I put all the images in here as well. Let's watch the panda with the money here. He's actually putting them into his hand. He's actually counting, which is in the prompt. He's looking at the money, interacting with the money, unlike any of the other versions that we've seen. There is quite a bit of morphing on the fingers and in on the money, but overall, what a great shot. It even looks like he's alone and he's counting this money, being all proud with the character and the face and the eyebrows. But what about the humanoid robot? So here, the legs and the movement of the hips, the weight of the character as well, when they step, the great parallax shot effect here as well, where, yeah, this is perfect. Uh, I would like for it obviously to have a little bit more of a parallax effect, but I think if we added maybe a fast turnaround parallax shot or something like that, it would be even nicer. But yeah, just look at this quality. Now, next, let's do the bird follow shot, a hard shot for any video generator to do. This one, the wings are flapping, but it's not that real, so... I think we could get it to work quite well if we prompted it, maybe flapping the wings fast or something like that. But overall, why a nice? Well, that's made the main point for me is like, it's not really flapping its wings the way it should be. And also I would love for it to kind of zoom up a little bit. Here you can see the generations back to back, Kling on the left and Pika on the right. Here we have the humanoid robot generations. You can see how much of a more lively character it is on the cling generation. It looks like they have a purpose in their step. Lastly, for the panda counting money, the 
Cling generation, once again, is better. And if you're wondering what the price is, it's currently at $10 per month. That gives you 700 monthly credits. I bought that plan and generated three of them. And you can see that I have 600 credits about left. So that means about 21 videos before you run out of credits. And I did run them on the Pika 2.1 model with an image input. So where does it go? Is it a step over Runway and Sora right next to Kling? I don't think so. It should belong directly in an A tier, four stars. The only unfortunate thing is I couldn't check out Halo's generation. Or I mean, I'm gonna show you in 3,300 minutes. I do actually want to reconsider Sora because it's just so extremely hard to prompt and it's never consistent with the actual output. I do believe it belongs in a B tier and Pika taking its place. I mean, if I got this video generation here, I definitely wouldn't be mad. But if I prompted it to slow zoom out and count the money and what it does is just not reliable and <laughs> showing up a completely new person, to be able to control these is very important. And in every step, it's just been uncontrollable. Very happy to see Pika 2.1. I kind of wish I did some faces as well because I know they do really well with that now. So there you have it. Pika is now in an A tier four stars, but not stepping up to the current king, Kling AI. If you like AI tools, subscribe to the channel. Also click the link in the description down below to check out our amazing sponsors. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.